Hello everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian Fishing for Float Fishing character. Today I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I've got a little bit of time right now, so I'm going to record probably uh, the overnight hours, and then we'll take a break and come back to this character later on. So, probably do two separate nights fishing. We're back over here at Oldberg, and we're Bremen again. It's been a while. I was in the mood for this, and especially since I had some time to do a split episode, kind of made sense to do some bream fishing. So we'll see what we get. It's a little bit early to get started, but uh, I've been sitting here for a couple minutes and seen some decent bream. There's a 3.6 kilo one just shy of a trophy come through. So got the typical uh, bream plus peas mix. So take the default bream, add peams. Or, yeah, take the default bream mix and add peas to it. Size one hooks and a 12 clip. I may not have actually changed this to a size one, I just realized. Do that real quick. And then I've got uh, cottage cheese dough on all of the rods as well. Today is more of just let's make some money. We're getting close to where I want to be to be able to afford a HSV rod, which would be helpful. Gets us set up for uh, HSV reel, caliber HSV. Uh, that gets us set up for going for match rod fishing here in a little bit. But obviously we need to level up a little bit before we'll be able to use the right rods. I think I even want to level up float a little bit more to be able to use. If I remember correctly, we're just short of being able to use yeah, hair hair pop-ups is what I'm looking for, and that's at 70%. So still got a little ways to go there. Got the dog leaning right up on my right arm, holding the mouse, snoring happily. A good day. Nice Saturday. It was in the 50s here. Went for a good long WLK. Looking for a uh, venture over to Quick Trip to grab a drink. Curled up on the couch for a little bit. He's a happy dog. Tiny bream. There's a decent. Is that a crucian or is that a bream? Yeah, that was a crucian. Didn't feel heavy enough to be a bream that. Yellow. Usually the bigger the bream, the more color that's on them. I did not drop off either reel for repairs yet. 
the friction brake replacement. We're getting close, but didn't necessarily make sense. Still enjoying that 11 kilo, or uh, yeah, it was 11 kilo black carp on this rod. Either this rod or the other rod, one of these two. Last night. Did not expect to fish that big. I don't think this one's quite that big, but this is a pretty good fish. Small bream, still a marker there on float. It's a big eye. Well, big ish. 1.872 kilo eyed. Not a bad fish. A lot of good bream getting caught. Oh, come on, fish. I don't know why I missed that or why that fish got up. 
one of those that set the hook was reeling it in normally and it just popped right off. Small bream. <laughs> laughing at chat there someone was uh, asking for bait because they didn't prepare well so they send it back in the morning never trust anyone that you don't know you know, if it's a group of people you play with quite a bit, that's a different story, but in just random chat, I wouldn't trust anyone to actually do what they say. Especially someone who can't plan to have enough bait at the correct time. It doesn't matter, his line's torn anyway. Two point four eight two. One one seven four. One six three four. Another one bite in the throat. Crucian. Uh, one point one and a half kilo bream too. There's a trophy. Actually, that's just shy, I think. I think it's 4,400.
There's a good bream on Talistic. Two point five, not bad. Another one kilo bream. And a 1.1 kilo brain. Yeah, sorry about that. My mom called. It's her birthday today, and she was telling me my sister. I just called her. This is a good bream on Telly. I think there's a fish on all three. Two point six something on Telly stick. Ah, dog paw. To stand up to get my phone out of the pocket because the dog was laying on that side. Eight hundred gram. Still a marker though. I'll take it. Oh, come on. That's frustrating. It was a good fish. And as soon as I lifted it up out of the water, the hook just, he just spit the freaking hook out. That would not happen in real life. How long that fish had been on. Oh, that's frustrating. Let me guess rod two is my worn rod reveal. No, rod three is, or I'm remembering the wrong no, rod three is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Game's making me mad. Game is making me mad. First a fish spits a hook that it never would.
And then that, where there was definitely a bite. At least I got that fish in. Bone fish fit. Uh, weekly record bream the 2.6 one was a telestick what weekly record not bad regional not global but i'll take it and bream there Three point three kilo got us a little bit more for percentages. Take it. Barely a marker, but a marker still. Just curious where we were on the leaderboard with that 2.6 kilo frame, and we're pretty much right at the bottom, or we are right at the bottom. Oh, come on, fish.
And welcome back to our Russian fishing for uh, for fishing care. Uh, I know I just said I was going to take a quick break. Be back in a couple hours. It's uh, about four and a half hours later. I expected to be back two hours or so ago. Got tied up with something. It is what it is. So, uh, just logged in to a rainy Oldberg and figured we'd continue fishing for bream somewhat. On the two bottom rods, I do still have bream bait set up. On the float rod, I went ahead and put a night crawler hoping for a potential eel. So they tend to like to bite in the rain at night. So I want to do that. I do want to go a little less deep so I can bring it a little closer to shore. Let's go one meter. Do I have a bigger than, I do have a one-aught hook. I'm going to put a one-aught hook on. In that crawlers. I tossed it out there a second ago in that exact same spot and got a bit of a nibble, but by the time I got over to it, it was already off. And it was too deep. That's why I missed. It was kind of sitting wonky. So that's part of why I wanted to switch over to a better setup a little bit of a sh more shallow cast small bream there One point two kilo bream. Sounds like a good one on three right now. Very much a good fish. I also should not have left my friction break at twenty nine. I think that this is my more uh, worn reel though. Ooh, people are getting some good pike. May have to give this spot a try on my uh, spin fishing character sometime. Two point five kilo eyed, nice. Get a little behind on keeping up on my food and comfort there, so energy's a little bit low, plus the dig didn't help. Energy does help float fishing with lifting the fish up and pulling it in. So having low energy is a little bit of a not good thing if you're going to be doing a little stick fishing. I 
want to make sure that fish had given up. Way I can see it and my bottom line's easier together. A nice bream. Not as good as I thought it was at all. Looked like it had a lot more color to it, so I was expecting it to be almost two kilos. And the rain has stopped. I'm curious. I'm going to throw out some garlic dough on this and just see what happens. So I'll probably fish through the night here and then we'll call it 7, 8, 9, 10 a.m., somewhere around there. Assuming nothing happens that makes me want to stop earlier. One point one seven. One thing I haven't looked at on this character is uh, weekly records, U.S. I want to see how we're still doing on the common minnow. Uh, we've been knocked off. Well, I think we had them on ultralight. That's where we. Yeah, we still have two, three of the top five ultralight U.S. ones. One point six nine five. I'm going to say garlic dough is not doing it. Let's go back to cottage cheese right in front of my face, right under my pointer. That's why I didn't see it.
1.26 bream. Take it. Wish it was better, but not gonna complain. Probably way too late because I couldn't put the frickin' rod down. Thanks, game. Two kilo right on the dot. Not too often you see that. It's going to be hard for me to know exactly how far into the episode we are. Um, I do have split video files, so the earlier part of the episode's in a different file. I think it was right about 30 minutes, so I think we're about 41 minutes in, 42 minutes in. I don't know for sure. One point seven seven three tiny fish, one hundred and sixty one grams. I might have been muted there. I uh, coughed and forgot to unmute. Got a uh, 1.8 kilo elastic bream there. Either there's not as many people here as earlier, which is possible. I mean, it is nine o'clock central, so 10 o'clock Eastern, compared to what, four hours ago, I think it was, five hours ago. Yeah, so compared to four o'clock in the afternoon. Or it's a lot slower t today, both of which are very possible. Good fish getting the net. One point one six eight on Telestick after one point seven on the bottom rod. Almost one point eight. I picked up the right rod. Thought I actually pressed the wrong button.
That looks like a pretty decent frame. 1.748. Decent was a valid way to describe that. Not amazing, not horrible. Thought I saw it moving, so I zoomed in a little bit there just to make sure, see if my eyes were playing tricks on me or not, and they were. It was just the little ripples in the water. It's only a downside of float fishing is having to pay much more, pay much more attention to the float and what's going on. Stay more vigilant, I guess, is where I was going with that, before the brain decided to shut off. I'm trying to guess if there's actually a fish on three or not. think so. Recast to it's doesn't look like it's in the right spot, and of course, as I do that, float rod gets bit and I miss it. That looks better. I think we're about 15 minutes into the episode, so wrapping up about 7, 8, 9 a.m. Still seems like it's going to be correct for about an hour. And that's getting towards the end of typical big brain time anyway. One point eight five eight. Yeah, that was crucial. I'm okay with missing that.
But the sun was behind me, and then I realized I'm facing east. I was wondering if in Soviet Russia, sun rises in west. There's another good one. 1.748. Not amazing, not horrible. Decent silver. Low, low wear and tear as well too, so take it. One point four six Got it. This looks like a pretty decent one, too. Right on one kilo. It's the second right on a kilo fish we've had. We had a two kilo earlier. Ah, too early, Tucker. You know better. I couldn't remember what my friction brake was on. And you may have seen it. I always will roll down first to check. Luckily that time I did because I was already at 29. And if I had gone higher, I probably would have broken the mechanism in this reel. With the way this fish is pulling. And if you break the mechanism in the reel, that means the fish gets away, you lose your hook, you lose your line, a part of your line, sinker. Uh, in this case, I've got the ground bait cage on, so I would have lost that. Not really what you want to do. This is a good bream right here. It's at least a two kilo, maybe even a three.
3.743, almost a 4. Nice fish. Did not expect it to be quite that big, though. 1.291. That was a game, not me missing that fish, in my opinion. That boat was all the way on its side when I picked it up. I'll go a little bit longer here. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the last half of the episode was right at 30 minutes. I could alt tab and check, but it doesn't matter that much. Still have a bit of a run anyway, back to town, so. Probably won't recast one in three here. If a fish is actually on either one of these. One point two three six there. I think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up here at eight o'clock. Fifty seven fish, I think, in about fifty eight, fifty nine minutes, maybe a full hour. So, not too bad. We'll go see what we've got for the cafe. And see how much money we made at the fish market. If I remember correctly, I think we looked at the cafe at the end of the first half and there was nothing we could sell. One Eye Sam, that's a good name. So, 57 fish, I'm going to say, I think we're over 120 silver. <laughs> we is. Almost 240 silver. Didn't expect that. What do we have? The Big Eyed was 15. Big Bream was 12. Decent eyed. Yeah. We had a lot more markers than I thought we did. I think that's the difference. And just, I mean, look at the difference there. 
So if we sort by weight, um, a 679 gram bream non-marker is worth, I mean, the keep net, that's why I didn't see what I thought I would see. So my price. So 679 bream is worth 29 cents or 20 cents. A 796 gram bream, not that much bigger, is worth four times as much. 130, 1.3 silver. So that's the power of what a marker can be. And then a trophy is double a marker. So those are always good. Needed seven crucians, don't have that. And there isn't a bream order. So we're still walking away with 239 silver roller. So not a bad day at all. I'm not going to complain there. Gets us up to 2386. So I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you all have a good one. And we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye now.